Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Dragapult VMAX deck. Yes, this is the first Dragapult VMAX deck on the channel, but this isn't going to be the usual Dragapult VMAX deck. This is actually going to be a Dragapult VMAX Gengar deck. So, one of the cool things with Dragapult VMAX is it does have 320 HP, which makes it very bulky. But the other cool thing about Dragapult VMAX is now we can pair it with Gengar's ability, Life Shaker. So, instead of the Dragapult VMAX deck you've seen with Malamar and Scoop Up Nets and Zigzagoons, we're going to be playing it with Gengar to basically keep it alive as long as possible with having 320 HP makes it very hard to one shot so what we can do is we can actually use Gengar to move the damage from our Dragapult to another one of our psychic Pokemon and we can actually heal those psychic Pokemon um, through scoop up net so we can move them to the prism stars giratina and lunala prism star which have 160 hp and we can scoop up net them which fully heals them taking all that damage off and we can also move it to a bench dragapult so gengar dragapult seems to be a really cool combo for dragapult vmax today um and we'll find out how good it is so before we get the video guys of course shout out to our sponsor kirkham and tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdc joe pack codes guys if you're still looking to get yourself some uh, rebel clash codes to get them over at kirkham and tcg but also of course guys if you have any codes laying around and cards that you don't want to use um you can give them to kirkham and tcg and they will give you some cash and in-store credit for your unused codes and cards that you want to you know sell in bulk um you can give them the kirkham and tcg They'll leave some cash and in store credit, obviously, like I said. And of course, if you're still looking for PCO codes in general, guys, head over to Card Heaven TCG if you're still looking for any set codes like Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Base, Team Up on Broken Bonds, Unify Minds codes. Get them at Card Heaven. They have all the stuff related to them, including stuff like theme decks, the pre release kit codes, all those stuff, all over at Card Heaven TCG. And of course, guys, if you do happen to pick up any codes from there, make sure to use my discount code code LDF for the checkout, which will get you a 5% discount on your order. It will support the channel, help yourself out. And it will help out Karkav and TCG a lot too. So shout out Karkav and TCG, check them out, and uh, use code LDF if you get any codes. All right, let's take a look at the deck now. So, Dragapult Gengar. Now, this is a very rogue build of Dragapult VMAX, because obviously everyone is going to just be playing Dragapult with cards like Malamar and Scoop Up Net Zigzagoon stuff. Um, but playing this with Gengar could be kind of fun and evil. And uh, the whole, obviously, idea is when you get Gengar in play, you can all just move the damage around. Now, it's only two other Psychic Pokemon, which is fine. We do have some pretty bulky Psychic Pokemon, like a second Dragapult VMAX being in play. It's 320 HP. We don't play any tag teams in here. When I originally covered the Gengar, you know, I looked at it with Trevnor with Unknown Hand. I looked at it with Wobbuffet and Trevnor again. Um, but now we're just going to be playing Dragapult. There's no tag teams. Our only walls to put the damage on are going to be the other prism stars like giratina and lunala we also have this giratina with 130 hp2 with dimension breach which can help us out even mewtwo just all these psychic pokemon actually come in handy like the giratina and the mewtwo not only are they good for the gengar damage they're also just relevant scoop up net targets so they're already going to combo well with that scoop up net combo anyways to heal so it's just really cool to play them you could also play distortion door giratina in here too that is all also honestly something you should maybe play in here too if you can figure out what to take out um i am playing one to dene as they're only non-psychic pokemon mainly because dead a change is just dead a change the only issue with dene is it doesn't have a big target on its head because you cannot move damage onto dene through gengar i got one in ddv it's another nice 180 HP Psychic Pokemon that we can move damage to. And we can also use Watch Over just to heal 20 damage, which honestly can make all the difference. Um, we got Mew to protect our bench from sniping attacks, which can also be a problem. I'm playing 3 Ghastly, 3 Gengar. Uh, not going heavy on the Gengar. I'm not playing the Ghastly with the uh, 40 HP and the Haunter. I'm actually opting for the 60 HP one. One for the extra HP, and two because we don't want to have that extra 40 and i'd rather just play 6 hp ghastly anyways in this day and age with the other dragapult decks running amok uh going into the items now we have a lot of po pokemon search we have one evo incense for gengar and dragapult four treasure and four or four treasure three quick ball uh three rare candy to go into gengar four scoop up nets to heal two switch i am playing a chaotic swell i know it's like one swell which doesn't make much sense but this can make all the difference you can obviously block some pretty big stadiums slowing your opponent down i think is really good and i want to have a counter stadium in this deck and i thought chaotic swell would just be perfect um i am playing at one boss's order again we do have that mewtwo uh one malana we have the Mewtwo. Malana also can heal, obviously, which is really good in this deck. We got four Marnie, four Research. I am actually playing two Skyla, too. Skyla is just great. Sometimes you can just Skyla for rare candy. Skyla for scoop up net. It's just nice to have Skyla. Uh, I got two Big Charm. Now, you can't use Big Charm with... Well, you can use them with the Prism Stars. But you scoop up net a Big Charm to Prism Star. You actually lose the Big Charm. So, it's something we don't want to do. But we can Big Charm Dragapult on the bench. Give him 350 HP. Dragapult can... We can Big Charm our active. Put him out of range of stuff like Toxtricity, possibly. Um, also, Big Charm can just go on to stuff like an EDV. Non-scoop up net targets. 
Uh, we got two Whorehouse Energies and seven Psychic. Um, I'm opting for the not heavy line of Whorehouse because Giratina is very popular and I like having the basic energy over the Whore energy just because of Giratina. This deck still suffers from your usual Dragapult issues where you do have to rely on manually attachments, which is a little tough. But with the Gengar, sometimes you can just sit behind and, you know, tank hits and move damage while you're trying to build up the Dragapult anyway. So yeah, let's go try this deck out and see if we can win a game or two with Dragapult Gengar. Alright guys, let's get into game number one here. We're up against, oh shoot, we're up against Rahul Reddy. Oh damn. We hit a competitive player on the ladder in game number one with our Dragapult Gengar deck. Uh, I think he's playing uh, Firebox though. Which is kind of bad for us. I don't know if we can actually win that, but I mean, if we're playing against an actual competitive pro player, I mean, this will still be a pretty good match regardless. So I'm kind of I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this. We'll just have to see here if they are playing Firebox. There's a chance they might not be playing Firebox. I They could be playing a Mewtwo deck. I've seen Rahul play Mewtwo decks before. I don't know. Mewtwo would be better than Firebox, I think, depending on what they got. All right. And they're actually going to choose to go first, which is interesting. Uh, but we get a lone Mewtwo start. We do have a treasure though. We can get us a Dragapult. Seems good. Seems good to me. I don't really like starting with Mewtwo though, because we want to use Minor Port for Mallow and Lana. Because uh, that might actually be important at some point. But if we can survive, we can scoop up Net it, which is fine. Okay, looks like they're possibly just playing a Firebox deck here. Pardon me. Um, which is a little bad. They're not going to Vulpix, though. Oh, they're going to stamp me. Okay, interesting. Let's see if we get a good hand still. Uh, we do not. Wow, that stamp did justice to me. That did not give me much to work with. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. never mind. We top deck the research. All right, so we're just going to get rid of... Uh, the Psychic. We're just going to play the War Energy. Um, do we want to do research here? I think we do. We're not going to move the Mewtwo. We're just going to have to let it get knocked out, unfortunately. How we looking here? We got a Kedic Swell. That's good. We got a Ghastly. We got another Ghastly. We can bench. Actually, we'll hold off on benching the Ghastly. We'll just pass. What we'll do is we will probably... We might treasure it away, depending on what we top deck. I don't really want to discard any of these Prism Stars, because you only get one use out of them in your whole game, so... I don't know if I want to get rid of them. We'll save the Ghastly. We don't need to bench it just yet. It's a shame that I might have to lose my Mewtwo here. It's fine, though. I guess we could have scoop up netted it. No, we, we, we wouldn't have... We, never mind. I was wrong. We, we couldn't make use out of it. Uh, what is bad, though, is they might just knock out my uh, Dragapult here. My Dragapult VMAX. Next turn. Oh, that was a really good top deck. All right, yeah. We're going to dump the Ghastly. Get the Dragapult. That was a really good draw. That did NA is really good. The only problem with playing Dedenne in here is that we can't make use out of it. Um, let's put all these big boys down. Dedenne. The only problem with Dedenne is we can't make much use out of it because it gets knocked out because we don't have a way to heal it. Uh, there's the Gengar. I don't think we need it though. Just yet. Um, I'm actually going to Skyla for a Marnie. We're just going to go Max Phantom and just pray they don't knock me out here. We just gotta pray they don't have a knockout. If they do kill me with Hot Burn GX, that's gonna be really, really bad. Um, they just need a Welder and... Yeah. Welder and Energy Attachment and we're done for. And they might have it, they might not. The best case scenario is their hand is Brick City. Nope, they do have the Welder, but they're actually gonna build a Victini. Also, it looks like they... We, we get to live to see another day. We don't... Unless we draw a way to find Gengar here, though. Uh, we won't be able to get the Gengar into play this turn, which I would like to do. Because it looks like they're not gonna be one-shotting me here. Which is good. Alright, so we did dodge a bullet. They are probably going to go... I guess they're going to Nine Temptations me, right? They might Nine Temptations to Ghastly. And knock it out. And with uh, Steaming Stomp. They could also knock out Dedenne with Hot Burn. They could also knock out one of these Prism Stars with Hot Burn. We'll see what they do. Yeah, they're going to go Nine Temptations. So, it's either going to be the Ghastly or the Dedenne. Is my best guess. The Dedenne makes the most sense. Because then I said they knock out the Dragon Bolt to win. Yes. So they're going to bring in the Dedenne. This kind of puts us in a interesting position. They had Waster GX attack, which is really, really good. Um, dang, 60 HP. That's rough. Um, but this puts us in a really interesting spot. So 
so we're gonna we're gonna have to Marnie them. Our hand just is full of stuff we can't play. Uh, we didn't get a Dragapult or any way to do much else. We got another Ghastly though. I don't think we need to bench that. Um, just gonna Big Charm and Max Phantom. Actually, I'm gonna bench the Mew. I guess they play Cramorant. We're gonna hit them for 130. And we're gonna knock out that Ninetales. We could also try to knock out the Victini, which I kind of like also. Um, but I I think we'll be fine. I think just getting rid of that Ninetales is the best thing we can do right now. There's a Dragapult. Could we get an energy to go with it? No, we got a research, that's good. Uh, we got an Evo Incense. So if we can draw a rare candy here, we can get the Gengar into play. But we'll see if my opponent has anything here to really hit me. How much energy are they down? Eight. They're down eight energy. They can probably get a couple more. So they can probably do 200 damage with Victini here. Victini Prism. Could do like a like 200 damage or so. Technically, you could put Wobbuffet in here if you're scared of that. Because Wobbuffet does allow you to, um, you know, it's Wobbuffet. It prevents Victini from attacking. And it is a Psychic Pokemon, so it's something you can put damage on. I think what we want to do is research, and we want to try to draw into a... Ooh, Turdinator can knock me out in one hit. Uh, that's not good. We need to draw a boss's order. Yeah, that's not good. That Turdinator, I think, just loses us the game here. Yeah, Spreading Flames. Hmm. Yeah, that forced us to draw boss's order, right? No, we didn't draw it. I think that's gonna be game then. We couldn't get the Gengar into play here. What can I do? What can I do to save myself? There's nothing I can do. We need to get... We need to get boss's order, but we didn't find it. We didn't get the boss's order. Yeah. Still not much. Still can't get the Hurricane Gengar. We could do Full Moon Star. Because I don't know if they play Boss Order or not. Um, if we had... Wow, we, should, we just need our Boss Order. I guess we could just go like with a Full Moon Star. We can go Psy Power too. We could like Psy Power for 30 on a Dedenne. And then all we have to do... I don't know. We could just go with Full Moon Star too and get an energy on Dragapult. We have we also have a lot of HP. We definitely have to move this thing because we're gonna get bodied here. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the Full Moon Star. We have Boss Order in the deck. We all we have all the rare candies too. But at this point, I think it's obsolete. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Because we got rid of their nine tails, we might have gotten rid of their gusts. So we can maybe sit behind these uh, big thick prism star Pokemon until we can dig for boss order to knock out that thing. That's gonna be the plan. As long as they don't have their own boss's order, which I don't think they would play in a deck with nine tails. That's knocking me out, really? I thought we were gonna live there. Not gonna lie. All right, we're just gonna keep bringing in Dragapult. Can we draw a boss's order? No. All right, we're gonna have to Marnie them here. We're gonna have to Marnie and probably retreat into Mew. And hope for a boss's order off this Marnie. We got it, okay. We got it, nice. All right, this is good. We still need to get Gengar into play, but we have the Gengar too, so. As long as this Victini doesn't put too much energy on, we should be good to just win the game through Dragapult. And, and Gengar can win us by just tanking hits. We'll see how this goes. We might have a shot of winning. It's just they can't one-shot Dragapult anymore. As long as they don't have any other way to gust, like, we should be good. So we have to bring in this guy without the big charm on, which I don't like, but... Unless we draw an energy here, which we don't. We do draw Gengar, though, so it just flat-out gave us the Gengar. So we're going to hit them with a boss's order, knock out the Turdinator, and we're going to see where this takes us. We're definitely going to have to put 
put 50 damage on this. We have no way to get boss order back because we lost our Mewtwo, so we're just gonna have to take the Victini down. And yeah, we'll see if we can win this. It's all up to Gengar at this point. If they do a bunch of Vulpix though, we just lose, I think, because we can't knock out the Vulpix in time unless they just don't have Ninetales. But we finally got the Gengar down, which is good. So we have that protection, sort of, <laughs> sort of. And we have a scoop up net. We have an EDV also, so we still have some stuff. We have another 350 HP Dragapult on the bench, so we're chilling. I think if I draw an energy though, I am going to retreat into this guy because I want to use this Dragapult. They can, uh, I mean, energy burst could one shot me too, but no, it looks like they're going to opt for the infinity play. They are down eight energy. It's only 160 damage. We can tank all that damage onto Giratina or most of it anyways. I mean, they could still one shot me with Victini Prism. So if we can get energy here, we can put on this Dragapult. No, we don't. Okay, well. Quick ball away the Gengar. Get the Indeedy V. And heal 20. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just going to go with the Life Shaker here. And we're going to slowly put 140 damage on this uh, Giratina Prism. So stick with me, guys, while I do this. It's a good thing we still have this Giratina. We'd have to use the other Giratina. Um, the Victini could still one-shot me, though. This is why I want to go into this guy, because we also have the Horror Energy on, which means if he attacks me... I, mean, I guess we still could go in with this other Dragapult, though. But no, we need to get the 50 damage on. So we just got to hope they don't do 320 damage with Victini Prism. I don't know if that's even possible, but we'll see. But this is what we're trying to do. Tank a hit, move the damage, scoop up Ned off of the Prism Star Pokemon. That's what the combo is all about and we got to pull it off sort of um and we're just gonna go for the max phantom and hope for the best or we could retreat no we're just gonna hope for the best if only i had an energy on this dragapult that would be or I had another big charm oh there's a horror so we can retreat next turn how many welders have they played? Get the two. There is a good chance they knock me out here. I don't even know how much damage this thing's doing. We're about to find out. Welder. Oh, I think that's a knockout. Yeah, eight energy. Two. Yeah, that's like 320. Yeah, that's going to do it. Right on the die. All right, well, GG to Rahul. That was a very good game. Close game two came down to one prize, both players. We got to show off the Gengar there. Took us a while to get into play, but we had a pretty good game against another good player. So that was pretty cool. All right, guys, let's get into game number two here. We're up against Dan Law with what looks to be an ADP Zacian deck, which, to be honest, because ADP Zacian can't one-shot uh, Dragapult that easily, this might not actually be as bad as I might predict. Um, we'll see, though. Obviously, boss's order is still a big issue, and that's fine. All right, we got the Dragapult turn one, which is important. I was hoping we would make sure we didn't whiff the Dragapult energy attachment here. Now, they could be playing Giratina, but I highly doubt it. Hopefully, the uh, Horror House energy sticks. This is why I'm kind of skeptical about playing it. This could also just be a Zacian Jirachi Prism Star deck, which is actually fine also, because Zacian, I'd rather that actually than the ADP Zacian, but it's probably ADP Zacian. And let's see what we're looking at here. Basic energy. We'll put that on. We're probably going to get Marnied here, I'm guessing. So we'll... Quick ball away the boss's order. We're going to get ourselves a Ghastly. We did prize in DDV and a Dene GX. That is actually pretty relevant. I'm actually going to treasure away the Marnie too, so that we can Mewtwo it back if we ever need to do that option. And I'm actually going to get one of my Prism Stars here. We're going to get the Giratina Prism Star. We couldn't Mewtwo the Marnie on top now, I guess. Probably should do that, to be honest with you. Yeah, we'll do it now. Just in case they do actually Marnie me. They may have an out to their own Marnie. We'll see, though. We will see. Now, they did start with a Meowth. Now, again, they are going second, though, so it's very likely they'll find an energy. It's very likely, but they have to research their whole hand away. What are they discarding here? 
Ooh, they play custom catchers too. That is a little, that's a little worrying because they can also custom around my Gengar, which is kind of bad. They're going to go for Dedenne. They're really digging here. They have a U-turn board too. So something tells me this might not actually be an ADP Zacian deck. They're down four metal energies too. They're going for that Zacian. Oh yeah, so this might not actually be the ADP Zacian then. Maybe this is an ADP Zacian. They already attach. All right. I guess they aren't playing. Oh, they got to be, bro. What's that dragon type, though? Ooh, Tool Scrapper's gone, too. So they can't use that against Big Charm. You like to see that. But this has to be Adipization, right? Maybe they just play a different dragon type that I don't know of. Who knows? Who knows at this point? Okay, they are going to be down another custom piece. It doesn't really matter, obviously, because they're already down another one. But the less custom catchers, the better. They are also down, what, five metal energies here? Um, there's a good chance they don't hit one off of Intrepid Sword. Maybe. So it looks like we won't be getting Marnied, right? Because I already did research. They're actually going to switch into the Zacian before... Okay, they're really relying on this Intrepid Sword getting them an energy. It gets them two? What? No, that's not good. Oh, so if we don't get Dragapult VMAX here, we're going to get knocked out. We're going to have to retreat. Okay, we got it. We're good. We got a Malolana too, which is actually really nice. So let's just go here, and we're going to hit them with a Max Phantom for 130, and hit this for 10 in case it doesn't evolve, and then put the rest on the Dedenne. We put three on the Dedenne and then knock it out with the boss order play. In fact, maybe we should have done, we should have maybe put boss order on top of the deck. Oh yeah, we should have put the Marnie on top so we didn't get a supporter. Yeah, you know, I kind of misplayed there. We should have put the Marnie, but we can actually do that next turn with Switch. So it's all good. We can switch Malana. There's a frying pan on oh, the Zacian. That is relevant, but it's too late. And they're going to Marnie me. All right, we are going to lose that Malana, but that's fine. If we can get a research into a Gengar Rare Candy, that'll be really good. We do get the research. We have treasure, so we can top deck a Rare Candy here. We can guarantee the Gengar. I wish we had a DDV right now, though. I don't know if it's prized or not. Okay, Evolution Roar. Yeah, so they can do that too. I didn't think they'd want to get rid of their hand like that though. But I guess they're going for it. Alright, that's fine. We're just going to have to put the rest of the damage on the Zacian. And Brave Blade will hit me hard. Um, the Air Balloon being on this is also kind of bad. And we're going to knock this guy out though, so it's all good. Oh, the top deck of dreams. The top deck of dreams. Holy crap, we top decked the Gengar or the rare or whatever we top decked the rare candy. I don't even know. Let's get that guy down. This is really good. And we're gonna research. There's big charm. There's a horror house energy for you. We have another rare candy, which we might as well might as well do it. We didn't get a scoop up net to heal, which is fine. And here we go, beginning the long process of moving the damage. We can Skyla for scoop up in the next turn, though, which I think I'm probably just going to do. Um, but we're chilling. They have one card in their hand, too, so maybe they don't have a supporter. Uh, but yeah, we're in a good spot right now. We're going to take all that damage off that they did to us. And they they haven't played a single Metal Saucer, so it's very likely they'll still attack me next turn, unfortunately. It's very likely they'll still attack me to knock me out, but that's fine. We're moving all this damage off. We gotta be a little careful. We don't go overboard. We just put 150 damage on the Giratina. If it lets me. What the heck? Did I misclick? Okay, no, I didn't. It, like, froze for a sec. I was like, wait, what? And we can put 100 damage onto the Mewtwo. As long as I don't have any weird spread attack here. Like, they could go with, like, a Mew and knock out both Mewtwo and Giratina. Um, so maybe I actually should put a, um... In case they do play Mew, I might actually put 10 damage on the Ghastly, so that play is not gonna happen. Because that would just be unfortunate. Let's see, I wish I had an DDV. Yeah, we're going to put... Oh, they concede. We didn't even get to... They just concede. But there you go. That's the deck for you. It took us like 10 minutes to move 250 damage off a Dragapult. But in a matchup like that where they can't one-shot you, um, you should just be good just to constantly take the damage off. That's what the deck is all about. And we got to show it off. I think we have a chest open up here, I would assume. We do. So we can open that up. And see what we pull. And we'll probably do one more game with this Dragapult deck. I think that game was pretty straightforward of what we what the combo is all about, right? Um, we got five, five coins. Did we get a card that might be good? Celebi Prism. All right, not the greatest card ever, but, I mean, it's better than just getting a bad hollow. So I'll take it.
All right, guys, let's get into another game with our deck here. We're up against Brylock, who is probably playing another... Another. It's uh, just a Pika deck. I don't know why I said another. It's probably going to be a Pika deck. And, all right, we do win the coin flip. We will go first. Hopefully, we get a Dragapult with an energy on it. That's the goal. No, nope, we're going to mulligan. That would have been a very bad hand to have. But hopefully, we can get a good start here. We do have that Mew in the deck, so I'm not too worried about Pika. I am more worried about Raichu, though, to be honest. Raichu's a little more concerning. And, all right, not bad. We got a Dragapult, and we got a Ghastly, so pretty good start. We could have maybe started with a Ghastly instead of the Dragapult in case they do turn one full Blitz me here. Uh, but they might just go with, like, a Bolt Thunder or something. Unfortunately, we can't Marnie them. I would like to do that, too. Oh, they're playing Toxtricity. That's actually... That's kind of scary. Toxtricity is one of the only Pokemon that can one-shot Dragapult. So that's kind of a worry. Toxtricity is a little scary, not gonna lie. It's a little scary. Even just poking me for 40 here with like an Electro Power could make all the difference. Um, I think we're gonna have to go research though. I wouldn't, I would like to save it, but with Mewtwo, I'm not too worried, but I probably have to go research here. And their turn one is looking very good. They're getting another energy in the discard. No, they get a research in there. And research again. All right, no energy. They're down three professors research now, which I quite like. That's pretty good for us, but not great. And they're actually going to attach the Zap, though. So it looks like they're going to try to poke me for 10. They're going to play Thunder Mountain down early. That's good. Hopefully, we can hit the Chaotic Swell. They're going to get Boltund. Ooh, this is a little scary, not going to lie. Toxtricity is more scarier, in my opinion, than Pika. Pika does have that Raichu, which is a worry, but Pika's damage output is a lot less worrying than Toxtricity. So it's kind of a worry. They had a very good turn one. They are down four supporters, though, which is like the only positive about their turn one is they are down four supporters. So maybe we should just Marnie them here. Now they're going to poison jab me. That 30 damage is very relevant. Alright, let's see what we draw. Yeah, not great. We're just going to Marnie them, I think. Just not going to discard that. There's too many cards to lose. And alright, I'll dig it. I actually think I'm going to go to Dene here too. We might as well. So let's go get rid of this. We can get another Dragapult. We can also get Mewtwo here. And we can put that Marnie back. We can put the, yeah, we can put the Marnie back on top of the deck. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to get a Prism Star. I'm not too concerned about that Mewtwo right now. I hate that. Whenever you bench the Giratina, it's just that like dumb thing at the bottom. Alright, come on. Rare Candy Gengar? No, we did get an Evo Wind Sense. Um, we can treasure here for... We didn't get the... Is Chaos Ball even in the deck? It is. We didn't find it, though. Now I wish I did go Mewtwo. We could have maybe gone Mewtwo there instead of the Dragon Ball. We're going to get another Dragon Ball down in case we get knocked out here. Unfortunately, we didn't get much to work with outside of just hitting him here. I think I'm just going to put 50 damage on the Boltund. We could hit the Trubbish, too. We have, a, we have a big charm on, which gives us the 320 HP, and they are down any Electro Powers. But it is likely they will KO me here, which is bad, and we didn't get the Gengar, so... It's not looking too good. Mm -hmm. Probably should have went Mewtwo. Oh, they're actually gonna boss order the other Dragapult on the bench. Okay, I am fine with this. Okay, their hand is gonna be empty almost. Well, not empty, but they'll have two cards. So that's actually fine. And I'm glad I didn't maybe go Marnie, because I would've gave him a new hand. Alright, this is actually good. Um, they're also down two E-Powers, which is good for us. Uh, there's Gengar. No rare candy, though. Alright, we'll bench the Ghastly. We'll just max Phantom, I guess. Not much else I can do. We could put 20 here. And I guess we could put the rest on the Trubbish and force it to evolve next turn, or we knock it out. Seems good to me. And this thing's gonna die. We don't have a boss order, though. Alright, we'll see. If Dragapult gets knocked out, I'm gonna be very, very surprised. I don't think they will be able to KO it. Uh, there's one E-Power. That's not a good start. There's a Marnie. I will take that. My hand sucked, so hopefully we get a better hand here. Rare Candy Gengar would be great. No, we didn't get anything good, really. No supporter. Even a Skyla would be good, because then we can get the Gengar in play, and we can start moving the damage around. So that's kind of annoying that we're not really drawing very well here in this middle half of the game. Considering things are going well for us, this is not ideal. Okay, they do get the Garboder. They're down three power, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to get knocked out here. Oh, they have a big char. Oh my god. Yo, don't tell me they actually hit the knock it off of a Marnie. Okay. That was... We have 10 HP left, so we have to retreat. Ooh, Marnie top deck. All right. We're going to have to get... 
Oh my god, we have no Dragapults left. <laughs> we have no Dragapults. That's not good. Yeah, we're gonna have to retreat here. I hate to do this, but we gotta do, we gotta do. Alright, we got the Gengar, we're good. We also gotta scoop up now, we're chilling. We're chilling. We also got a knockout here, too. We're still poisoned, which is not ideal. The only thing missing is Chaotic Swell, to be honest with you. It's the only thing we're missing here. But here comes the long process of moving damage. We can fully heal, but we're going to have to spread out the damage a lot. Like, everything's going to have to have a lot of damage on it, but that's fine. We're just going to take our time, move as much damage off. The only problem is we are still poisoned, so I'm not a fan of that, but can't really do anything about it. It is what it is, though. We're just going to try to heal the Dragapult. Not having the other Dragapult in the deck is kind of rough. We might have to build up something else. There's nothing on our... Nothing else to really like, power up here. Like, I could try to power Lunala, but we don't have that right now. Could attach to Gengar. Doesn't really seem very good, though. All right, done. Scoop up Net. Heal this big boy. Put him right back down. And then we're back to it. So here you go. This is a deck. I think I think we still have what two three nets left. I forget how many nets we've used I think we've discarded one already, but I th I'm pretty sure that was either our second one. I'll check after this It's gonna keep moving the damage here. This is gonna take a very long time That's the only issue of this deck is you have some very long turns. So if you want to play this deck in attorney Good luck with that time crunch, bro Good luck But yeah, here we go. Let's move all the damage off we have our research for next turn, too, which is pretty nice. I guess we should probably Whore House the active. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. We could just put the rest of the damage on the Ghastly. We'll save this guy from 10 damage, because then it gets poison, maybe, and then you just knock out poison. I guess we can avoid that. I don't know how relevant that really is, but it might be relevant. There's Whore House the active, so we have an attack. And we'll max Phantom, knock out the Toxtricity, and we'll put 5 damage on the Garbodor so that we can set up to be KO'd. Check out our prizes here. Dragapult. Actually, I don't want to draw because we have the research. Looks like we're not going to get it anyways. Okay, we got a net. That's really good. All right. I'm fine with not getting Dragapult there. We can hopefully survive off of one Dragapult. To be honest, we might be able to. Especially if we just get a boss's order. We still have it in the deck. We can just find boss's order. We can knock out the Garbodor and the Boltund and win the game. So, Our wing addition is coming back. We need to find that Chaotic Spell ASAP though. Because they're getting another Toxicity here. They are down. They're down a few energies. They're down six... Seven basic lightning, one speed. There's a chance. Never mind, they have an energy. Hope they don't Marnia. So I'm just gonna G Max Riot. This is fine. Let's see, what we draw rare candy. All right, uh, we can't get a second Gengar in play, which I would like to do because that gives us more HP. What we can do though is discard some stuff here. So we'll scoop up Net the Tina. Oh, we could have saved 10 damage there. My bad. We could have saved 10 damage. Rip. That was a, that was a stupid misplay. Yeah, no, it's not even a misplay. It's fine. Yeah, we could have saved 10 damage, though, if I uh, didn't do the net right away. It is what it is. I'm just going to keep healing my boy. And all we got to do is get a boss's order and keep this Dragapult alive for one more turn. And we can win the game. I think we can also two-shot this thing, too, which is possible. But we're just going to full heal this. He has one card in his hand, too. He didn't do his part last turn. So it looks like we're chilling big time. Let's just keep taking all that damage off. This is going to be a very long finale. 130. 140. 150. And we'll put the rest on Mewtwo. Let's play that SpongeBob clip one attorney later. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to play that because copyright. But yeah, let's get all this damage off our Dragapult. We have Gengar as a wall, too. We can also research into a scoop-up. Oh, wait, I forgot to check if I have any how many scoop-ups I have now. I forgot about that. I said I was going to do it, and I didn't. <laughs> this, oh, man, this is hilarious. All right. Boom. 100. 110. This guy's got 10 HP. So this guy drops a Mew on us. He's going to be able to take a bunch of prizes. Or take two prizes. Uh, there's a scoop-up net. We can actually put the Mewtwo back on top. <laughs> I think we're just going to heal the Giratina, though. So how many nets do I have left? Is that my last net? Nope. We're chilling. We could put the energy on. I mean... We didn't get... Oh, we didn't get the boss or I just realized. Yeah, we don't really need the energy. Uh, 
Oh, we could switch. We could switch retreat and get out of the poison. Which does make a difference. Oh, no, it does, because then the Garboder can attack. All right, yeah, let's do that, sure. Let's do it. Because we're not got the Garboder here, so we can get it out of the poison. Makes him do less damage. Seems like a good play. And Max Phantom. Let's see if my opponent can recover from this. So Garboder's gone, and we can put 10 damage on his Aurora. Or maybe we should hit this. I don't really know. Let's just knock out the Garb. See what our prizes are. Dragapult. There we go. Oh, our prize. Uh, we can actually knock out something here, too, if we really wanted to. Because we don't really mind giving up a prize here. And no to Dene. So they're just stuck. We still haven't countered their stadium. I'm not going to play the Marnie because there's no point. They're just going to retreat. Yeah, they have to. Okay, they get to full voltage. I wish I put more damage on the Zero now, but it is what it is. There's not much they can do. They have Boltund, I guess. Ooh, yeah, Boltund might be an issue. Crap. Now, unless we just draw a boss's order here, we just win. No. Okay. So we're gonna Skyla for the boss. Also surprised, just not. We could get the counter stadium. At this point, we don't need it. We're just gonna take the boss's order. I'm gonna do something really weird. I am going to retreat into the Mewtwo. And I'm going to pass. So just in case he knocks me out. Here's my game plan. Retreat to Mewtwo. Move 10 damage off. He might not retreat, but we we can knock out our Mewtwo. Go into Gregapult boss order. This way, he doesn't just win. Yeah, see? Boom, he had an energy. Big brain play. How much is he doing here? Will he even take the knockout? He is. 280. So he wouldn't knock me out, but you know what? It was just to be safe. And we just win. So there you go, guys. Dragapult Gengar in action. This was a very good match. We got to show off the deck in spectacular fashion here against my opponent's toxicity deck which is a matchup you can beat you just have to watch out for the toxicity one shot on you but there you go that is the deck in action we even got to play against rahul ready another pro player and we get to buy a pack from the shop we'll buy a pack to end off today's peace show video guys on the dragapult toxicity deck if you guys enjoyed today's peace show video guys make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe down below if you're new to the channel help me on the road to reaching uh 9,000 subscribers slash 8,300 subs the growth in the channel once again has been a great and um, I have a very appreciative for all the new subscribers and all the new supporters and all that good stuff and I might be able to hopefully stream a little bit more often now um, my mom went back to work so the house is less busy now so it's I make it's better to, easier to find time now to stream um, now, unfortunately we didn't get much out of that undaunted pack still trying to get those undaunted cards but that'll wrap it up you guys hope you enjoyed check out the sponsor card game at GCG down below too as always guys make sure you use code LDF at the checkout thanks for watching guys and have a good day